we also need to call for help as a multi-billion community. And when we are heard and changes, preparations, and organizations of these scientists' activities begin at the international level, when they sit at the same table and they start working, only then can we consider our goal achieved. Only then will we have a chance to save our children's lives. Until then, the key is to keep calling to help and not stop. It's crucial to do it all together, just like being stuck in that woods. We have to work as a team, as a united humanity, and do it now while there's still time. Great analogy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Yeah. And you know, I would also like to explain why it is crucial that everyone to get involved in this process right now. We've already mentioned that we're currently living in a relatively stable times. Yes, there's already unrest in many places, but at least the communication, the internet is still functioning. The global economy is still afloat and scientific laboratories and institutes are operational. These are our capabilities that must be utilized now while they still exist. In five to seven years, all of this may no longer be available. Every year, more and more research centers and laboratories fall under the impact of climate catastrophes. Our capabilities are diminishing. Moreover, when the situation becomes so critical, even if the buildings or equipment are preserved, will the scientists have the time and capacity to delve into the complex problems of physics that require complete immersion and comprehensive research? No way. Or will these scientists at that time worry about how to secure their and their children's lives and solve the massive domestic and economic problems 